Hello. In previous video, I have explained uh, about uh, linear algebra. Now I will explain uh, this topic, calculus, which is a very important chapter. So in this uh, chapter, for function of single variables, uh, limits, continuity, and differentiability, you can uh, get the study material, detailed study material at uh, 10 plus 2 calculus books. 12th calculus books in engineering mathematics books you will not find uh, this uh, but I will explain uh, about, all about this now I will explain you about function of single variables what is the meaning of single variable function function of single suppose, suppose this is a function uh, meaning of function of single variable is that when any variables x comes to this function, it converts it to fx. Okay, so this is called the function of single variables. This output totally depends upon the single variables x. Here is the example. Suppose uh, this is a function now, uh, which is which for which convert the x into which assumes x as a radius and it convert it to area of the circle suppose if i if x is equal to 1 if i will put 1 here output will be pi into 1 square if x is equal to 5 output will be pi into 5 square so so you can write it as y suppose this is the fx fx is equal to fx is the output is equal to pi x square so output is dependent on only the values of x suppose the box is something like this area of a rectangle area of rectangle here you require two variables suppose one two then you can get the area of rectangle it is equal to 2 if input is a 2 3 then you will get the output is 6 so this is the fx here the output is dependent upon the two variables so this is the function function of two variables this but i will discuss only about function of single variables so in this form in this format means output is only dependent upon, dependent on single variables fx so fx is equal to function fx is the function of x it is dependent upon the values of x it can be x square plus 1 or x cube plus 3 or 1 by root x or anything or sin x so see the fx is dependent on single variable x so for the gate exam you require to read only function of single variables fx is also denoted by y so y is a function of x or y can be also be written as function of time ft where t is the variable all this types of function is single function of single variables so y is the function of x it can be any any type of function suppose uh, x square plus 2 plus 3 divided by x minus 1 so so y can be dependent on x in any if you you can also plot the y you can also plot the y for the values of x here in the example for x is equal to 0 it is a minus 5 and for x is equal to 1 it is infinite so graph for x here is x here is a y and for 1 it is infinite 
so the graph uh, may be like this graph may be like this you can uh, plot the values of y for any values of x so see what type of graph you can obtain here y if uh, for any values of x y have fixed values then this type of function is called continuous continuous function why continuous function because uh, for all values of x you you have uh, one values of y okay then then this type of function is called continuous function if the graph is like this is one and here is the another this is a y this is the x so suppose for x1 you have one values a here and for for lower than values of uh, just lower than values of x1 you you have values of y1 and for just greater than values at this point you have another values of y so this type of function is called this type of function is called this continuous discontinuous function because the function get discontinuous at some values of x now suppose uh, y and x here is this at anywhere the values of fx is having sharp turn then which is not derivable so this point is called not differentiable not differentiable you cannot to differentiate here means you cannot to find out the tangent value at the sharp point of the function fx even function when fx is equal to f function of minus x then this type of function is called even function the example is fx is equal to x square so for so if here is the example suppose f3 is 9 and f minus 3 is also 9 so fx is equal to f minus x then this type of function is called even function what is the odd function when fx is equal to minus of f minus x then this type of function is called odd function suppose fx is equal to x cube so f2 is equal to 2 to the power 8 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 and f minus 2 is equal to minus 2 to the power 3 means minus 8 so f2 is equal to minus of f minus 2 so this is called odd function suppose uh, fx is equal to 1 plus x is this the odd function you can check it f minus x is equal to 1 minus x and minus of f minus x is equal to minus 1 plus x so 1 plus x is not equal to minus 1 plus x because fx is not equal to minus of f minus x so this two this function is not not the odd function so you cannot uh, say this is the odd function this is not the odd function